India inaugurated the new administrative and training building at the Naval War College in Goa. The modern edifice named the Chola pays homage to the strong maritime empire of the Chola dynasty of ancient India. Our Raksha Mantri described Chola Bhavan as a symbol of the aspirations of the Navy and India's legacy of maritime excellence. It is also a reflection of India's new mindset of coming out of the mentality of slavery and feeling proud of our rich historical heritage. He also spoke about the shift in dealing with the threat perception, which is now covering land-based as well as maritime challenges. In view of the increased movement of our adversaries in the Indian Ocean region and the commercial importance of the region, it was necessary to reassess our threat perception and accordingly rebalance our military resources and strategic attention. India not only reimagined its role in the Indian Ocean region but also strengthened it. Due to government efforts, India has today emerged as a free, as a first responder and preferred security partner in the Indian Ocean region. India is ensuring that all the neighboring countries of the Indian Ocean should be helped in protecting their autonomy and sovereignty. India is ensuring that no one exercises hegemony in the region. Through the mantra of Vasudev Kutumbakam, India has given the world the unique value of taking everyone together. If India becomes stronger, not only the areas around it will progress, but democracy and rule of law will also be strengthened. It will also help to create an environment of peace and prosperity in the Indo-Pacific. The resources and opportunities available in the Indian Ocean region will be the factors of India's prosperity. Most of the goods trade takes place through the sea route, so the Indo-Pacific region is emerging as its hub. Due to the increased goods trade, many threats such as incidents of piracy and trafficking are also taking place. These infrastructure developments are part of the ongoing phase 2nd A of Project Seabird which will accommodate 32 ships and submarines, a dual-use naval air station, a complete naval dockyard and logistics for ships and aircraft. It will house around 10,000 uniformed and civilian personnel with families which will boost the local economy and industrial growth. It will also enhance tourism in North Karnataka and South Goa. This project has created 7,000 direct and 20,000 indirect jobs. This project aligns with the Atman Nirbhar Bharat, which is sourcing over 90% of materials domestically. Project Seabird is the largest naval infrastructure building project of the country and is working to increase the capacity of Indian Navy.